So many thanks, uh, Vivian, for this uh, kind indication, and I will try to give some basic principles for uh, people uh, with uh, uh, that int are interesting by this um, field uh, of surgery that is minimally invasive surgery, and um, not only surgeons, doctors to inform the patient and to do and to perform this uh, surgery, but also to give some idea to people uh, that want to develop uh, products and a new uh, concept as uh, uh, we, uh, we do too and we did, as you will see. So, basic principles. There is no particular principle when we have to do surgery um, using very large incision or small incision or as we do more and more with uh, no incision or using natural orifice for doing uh, surgical procedures. The goal is to create an endo block, a space where we will operate. Uh, this is a working space that can be limited and um, focus on the target we have to operate or very large as we did uh, from uh, large surgical procedures in open and that can be reproduced by laparoscopic procedures. What are the tools we have uh, in uh, uh, our armamentarium for doing this approach? Uh, the older one uh, described uh, uh, more than 50 years uh, was a very snidal uh, uh, product. That is a very clever needle, that is a needle with a balloon tip um, connected to a spring. This balloon tip will protect the um, uh, bowel and the organ after the needle is introduced into a space. And uh, we have also more aggressive, more dangerous uh, products that are called trocar. Trocar are made with a cannula and uh, a trocar inside that is inserted in the cannula to facilitate the perforation of the different layer of the um, uh, uh, abdominal wall and uh, to push after the cannula around this uh, introducer. We have different shapes. The first shape uh, of the uh, tip of the uh, Chokar was uh, mainly pyramidal tip, very um, uh, sharp pyramidal tip to perforate easily the uh, aponeurosis because um, aponeurosis is very strong, very difficult to perforate. It was necessary to use very um, uh, sharp and, uh, uh, instrument and uh, cutting very well. And the pyramidal shape was uh, first used <coughs> Rapidly, it was proposed to protect this uh, tip introduced after the troca was introduced inside the abdominal cavity and it was the beginning of a shield troca, a shield protecting the pyramidal tip or a blade that are at the extremity of the troca. This was mainly developed with the beginning of disposable product. Why? Because the mechanism used to push is a spring, and more we use, more we sterilize, less the mechanism will work. And it would be very dangerous because it seems it's safe to use, and it is not because the spring will not work. Other type of trocar developed also um, uh, with um, industry. This is a very clever system. It's a sleeve, a very two, uh, um, uh, small sleeve, expandable sleeve, um, two millimeter diameter, in which we will put a needle to introduce through the abdominal wall after we have incised the skin with a um, uh, scalpel. Inside this uh, sleeve, we will push a trocar, trocar and cannula. The tip of the trocar is a conical tip, atraumatic, that will facilitate the introduction inside the sleeve. 
and we can put different type of trocar, 5 mm, 10, 12 mm, and we can change without trauma on the abdominal wall, and particularly the muscles, because uh, we will dilate the sleeve without contact with the muscles. You see, this is an abdominal incision, this is a needle, a sleeve around, we push through the abdominal wall, and we introduce the trocar inside the sleeve and the sleeve is dilated, so we do a very small hole, and the trocar is well encored inside the abdominal cavity. It is another one, plastic sleeve, so we have elasticity, we push, and it is expand when we introduce, and through the same we can change and put a 12 or 10 mm trocar, so we will have a good anchoring of the trocar on uh, the abdominal wall. Other trocar, uh, developed by industry and uh, designed by industry are the trocar, I will say optical trocar. We can see what we do when we introduce the trocar through the abdominal wall. The, this one is a reusable trocar the, developed by Storz company and it is called the Ternamion trocar um, on the tip system. It is a system developed by a surgeon, Ternamion, that is working in Canada, if I remember. And this is a trocar that will be screwed with a small knife at the extremity. And when we will screw the trocar, we will progressively cut the different layer. And uh, this will be done under uh, video control because inside the trocar we will have a video camera that will control what we do and we will see the different layer. Other optical trocar, trocar through which we can see what we do, this is the Visiport, the short stroke knife trocar, very clever. It is a trocar, blue tip, as you see, it's a, a, a picture on the right down, and uh, we have a small knife at the extremity. It is as a hublot, we can see by transparency, as you will see later. And uh, this is a, as a gun with a trigger, and we activate the blade at the extremity with a trigger. Around uh, this trocar, we will put a cannula, and inside the trocar, we will put a scope. This is uh, what you will see now. The system, like this, we introduce a cannula around the trocar, we introduce the scope inside the trocar, we inside the skin, and under control, we will, uh, video control, we will perforate the different layer of the abdominal wall, and when we are inside the abdominal cavity, we will uh, uh, introduce the system removing the trocar. Watch what it is, uh, what we do. An uh, human we have introduced, we push the optical system inside, we do the focus, we have inside the skin, and we are under the skin, on the subcutaneous fatty tissue. We choose the orientation of the blade, as you see, we have focus now, and we will activate the trigger as a gun and low pressure and slowly we control that there is no vessels and we cut with the low pressure the different um, uh, tissue we will find and you see we can change the orientation to be parallel to the fiber muscle and uh, we avoid using this technique <coughs> to cut the fiber using a refraction of the fiber, avoiding to cut the vessels too, that are parallel to the fiber. So this is very clever, we can see what we do. This is uh, used particularly when we have a very, th a very obese patient, very sick, where we have some difficulty to find the different layer, or if we do a large incision, we can have good access, but with a small incision, with this, we can see what we do.